If you're someone who is looking for maximum speed, maximum power, maximum control, then you're gonna to wanna to get your hands into a really high position at the top, but also whilst creating as much width as possible. Now, a lot of people get very scared when you start talking about high hands and think, okay, well, if I'm gonna to go too far up, then I'm gonna lose control and I'm gonna get really worried what's gonna to happen to the golf ball. But if we do it in the right way, it can be extremely effective and extremely beneficial. So, first of all, what we have to establish is the shaft angle at the top of the backswing. We want to try and feel like the club head is pointing to the sky and the butt of the club is pointing more down to the ground. In reality, it's gonna go a little bit further up, but it's a good way to think of it. The second thing is we've got to try and create as much width as possible and get this elbow as far away from the body as possible. What tends to happen when people get high hands is the elbow comes backwards, which then pulls the hands over, wrist angle then crosses over with the club head and you lose a lot of control. If we can get you into a position where we feel like the right elbow is far away from the body and the hands go as high as possible, it's gonna give you more time to then get that body through at the start, at the start of the downswing and it's also gonna give you more power with the vertical hand reach. So if you wanna start hitting that golf ball further, we have to get you feeling like the right elbow works away from the body, create as much width as possible, yet getting the hands as high as we can. Remember, you need to stay in posture if you, as you do this. If you come out of posture, it's inefficient as you're gonna to have to then try and find the golf ball again. And it should look something like this. <laughs> 